Let's take you back this hour to KZN and it's a developing story this hour where there have been a shootout between police and suspects in um, Amatu north of Durban. And let's take you there now. We've got Desen Thathia who's standing by with uh, the uh, very latest details there. A very good afternoon to you once again, Desen. What exactly has transpired uh, there and what do you know in terms of those involved? Rafi, well, let me start with telling you uh, what we've established so far. This is a shooting that took place not long ago. We are in Amaoti, and just behind me, unfortunately, I, I can't show too much of it. It is still uh, an active scene, and there's uh, a vehicle that's parked on the other side of this wall behind this cordon tape. And in that vehicle, there's still a body that is hanging out of the back. There's also one of the suspects that's in front of that vehicle. What we know for now is that there were six suspects that were traveling in a Toyota Taz. And these are suspects that police say were linked to several robberies. They're also known to, to have been posting on Facebook and showing off firearms and ammunition and essentially, uh, you know, uh, threatening people and communities as well very brazenly. And this has been going on for a while. So we understand that this group is linked to those that have been doing that. Among them, we are also told, is, uh, are two foreign nationals, Mozambicans in fact, that are here. And so far, from the initial information that we've received, two of them have passed away. The other four are wounded as a result of that shootout. So police had come across them as a result of their, their patrols and uh, in this particular area. They had then tried to stop this vehicle because it was a suspicious vehicle. There were certain people that they were also looking for that were inside that vehicle. But when they did that, there was allegedly a, a shootout that took place. They tried to shoot at police. And when they returned fire, they ended up killing two of those suspects that were, were, were traveling in that vehicle. So for now, the police have cordoned off the area. The community is being kept at bay. You'll see the paramedics uh, that are also here. They had come to attend to the injured, but the community really is just in shock there on the other side of that cordon watching what has unfolded. You can see this is a fairly populated area. So when this took place, it did attract the attention of the broader community here. But also, I think it's important to mention that this comes just after the SAPS has laid to rest one of its members, not far from where we are, about 20 minutes or so away, that was Tembiso Mazibuko, that NIU member. But interestingly, at that funeral, you would have heard there the police minister saying to officers categorically that if you are shot at by criminals, that you need to shoot back and that they should not be seen to be uh, just taking a light approach when dealing with hardened criminals. Desen, you mentioned that these are known criminals who've engaged in various criminal activity. Um, do you have a sense for our viewers the kind of crimes they have potentially been involved in? Uh, and I'm asking here specifically because we've seen a spike in cash and transit um, heists. We know there's a, uh, a number of political killings that happen in KZN in particular. Um, so are there any particular crimes that these uh, uh, suspects have been linked to? Or is this something that the police are yet to establish? Well, there are, there are two specific crimes here when we're talking about uh, this gang. So I think just for, for a little more context, in that shootout that took place last week, that was where Warrant Officer Mazibuko was killed. At that time, police were acting on information in relation to a gang that was involved in robberies and in murders. So one of those suspects, the main suspect that was killed at that house, was allegedly linked to about 12 murders in the space of five weeks. But they, as, as a broader gang, were also linked to a number of robberies. So one of the things that we're trying to establish, and we did ask police this as well, is whether this gang is part of the same group or were they just involved in similar types of crimes? Because one of those, uh, those crimes or some of those crimes that they were involved in was robbery. So e essentially police are saying to us that they were terrorizing communities. They were really just robbing houses there, businesses in the area, and essentially in those particular areas, taking control of that space and by doing this, by trying to instill fear in these communities, by brandishing these guns that they had, by showing that they are gangsters and that they have some level of control. And this gang, this group that was here, is apparently part of, of, of that broader group.
Thank you very much for that update, uh, Des and Thathi. I'm going to allow you to go uh, furnish yourself with further updates so that we can keep our viewers abreast of this concerning but a developing story out in KZN on a Sunday afternoon when we should actually be celebrating uh, as a country the win that we saw between the Springboks and um, England.